Amazing tiny electric car built on a wheelchair. Kangaroo, world's first drive from wheelchair electric car. It is true that mobility vehicles designed for wheelchair access exist, and transportation is possible for people in wheelchairs. But it is certainly not easy. The process of climbing out of a manual wheelchair and into a modified vehicle, and then collapsing the chair, takes considerable time and puts substantial strain on a person's shoulders. Kangaroo has been built from the ground up for people in wheelchairs. It is a small, nimble electric vehicle, one designed specifically for quick, easy access by and driving from a wheelchair. Its makers claim it is the world's first drive from wheelchair electric car. Initially developed in Hungary, the Kangaroo is now hand-built in Texas in the US. The car's design is at least six years old. Stacy Zorn, an attorney in Austin, has never walked due to a neuromuscular condition, has always used a wheelchair and was doing some online research on transportation about six years ago. That's when she stumbled across Kangaroo, a Budapest-based company advertising small electric vehicles that allowed wheelchair users to enter through a back hatch and drive, all while never getting out of the chair. The entire rear of the vehicle is a hatch that can be raised, allowing a wheelchair passenger to roll and using a built-in ramp. Stacy then set up Community Cars, which now manufactures Kangaroos in P. Flugerville. The Kangaroo has only a single door to the rear of the vehicle for direct wheelchair access. It's opened by remote control. Inside, the driver is nestled in a 350 kilograms, 772 pounds fiberglass cocoon, 2,125 millimeters, empty weight with the batteries increases to 550 kilograms, 1,200 pounds. The batteries power two 2 kilowatts motors located on the rear axle. Kangaroo offers a maximum speed of 45 kilometers per hour, 28 miles per hour, a range of between 70 and 110 kilometers, 43. Motorcycle style handlebars provide steering, though a joystick controlled version is currently in development. Community Cars says the Kangaroo will be price tagged at about $25,000. However, buyers will qualify for the federal green incentive, and some will also qualify for the vocational rehabilitation incentive if they use their kangaroo for transportation to and from a job. Those incentives, according to Zorn, can drop the price in some cases down to $20,000 and in some cases to zero. Let's go through the biography of Stacy and see what led her to the discovery. In her 2006 autobiography, I Like to Run to Stacy Zorn. A lawyer in Austin, Texas, chronicles her journey with the neuromuscular condition that she's lived with since early childhood. Though her life may be marked by disability, she writes, it is also filled with love, ambition, and hope. She should have added determination and doggedness, the two traits that her friends, co-workers, and business partners would say have most defined her over the last four years as she pursued her professional dream. That dream to build a roadworthy vehicle, specifically designed for wheelchair users, is about to come true. Zorn and her Hungarian business partner, Istan Kisaraslaki, expect their first cars to roll off the assembly line in 12 to 18 months. The new electric vehicle, which looks like the slimmed down sibling of the city friendly smart car, is dubbed the Kangaroo. Kangaroo in Hungarian. It's 7 feet long, 5 feet high and has a pop-up back door through which its owner can roll a wheelchair. Two electric batteries afford a 60-mile range between charges at a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Frankly, I have muscle disease. I don't want to be going 70 on the freeway, but I do feel safe going 25 miles an hour on a city street. And that still gives me a huge increase in range of where I can go and be independent," says Zorn. 13 years ago, Zorn was driving a Dodge Grand Caravan that was customized for disabled drivers. But one day she hit a curb and blew a tire and lost control of the cumbersome van. Her hands flew off the steering wheel, her wheelchair tumbled, and the vehicle slid into a lamppost. Both she and a friend were injured in the crash, and Zorn realized that replacing the vehicle wouldn't be wise. For both financial, it cost $80,000 and safety reasons. The technology wasn't there yet for me to be driving, she says. About a decade later, in March 2010, Zorn was searching the internet for wheelchair accessible transport when she stumbled across the Kangaroo. Designed by Kisaraslaki, 
who had been building and field testing kangaroo prototypes for a couple of years and taking them to auto shows across Europe. The vehicle was exactly what Zorn had been looking for. She bombarded Kisera Slacky, a Hungarian native educated in the United States, with emails, but her missives went unanswered. At the time, the global recession was hitting Eastern Europe, and Kisera Slacky had just found out he'd lost a 2 million euro loan with the collapse of Lehman Brothers. Zorn called Budapest. He told me, We need a couple of million. It's going to be four or five years before you can buy one, so have a nice life. And he hung up the phone. Zorn recalls. Undeterred, Zorn turned to a partner in her law firm who was an entrepreneur. Zorn was a patent attorney who occasionally took on civil rights disability cases, but she had zero business experience. I found this product, she told her co-worker, and I really want it, and I found out they need money to get it to market. Can you help me? He agreed. So Zorn embarked on a fundraising effort, while at the same time wooing Kisaris Lackey and trying to convince him that a partnership was doable. Kisaris Lackey came to the US and met with Zorn. He'd been fielding some interest from investors in Europe, but Zorn's enthusiasm won him over. And in late 2011, he moved his wife and two children to Texas. When you grow up with a disability, everything you do is an obstacle. I have to get out of bed in the morning. I have helped to get dressed. I have to schedule every bathroom break around when someone is going to be able to come that is strong enough to lift me. Turning on my desk lamp is difficult. Filling my printer with paper is difficult. And so you live your whole life that way, Zorn says. Well, starting a business is not for the faint of heart. It's extremely stressful. It's a huge risk, and you often have to put everything on the line. It's very daunting, but like I said, my life has kind of prepared me for this, because this is a normal day in my life," she says. Raising money for the kangaroo startup hasn't been easy. It has taken four years to build a network of relationships and to persuade backers, who include friends and neighbors. Zorn also invested $140,000 herself. She says she was surprised at how little financing was available at the federal level. She had fully expected government support for what is a green project targeted to the disabled. When she met President Barack Obama at an Austin event for small business entrepreneurs, she said he was impressed and told her that he looked forward to seeing the cars on the road. I tried to get President Obama's phone number when I met him, but it just didn't work out, Zorn says with a laugh. Despite the lack of funding from the federal government, any large foundations, or the auto industry, Zorn and Kisaris Lackey have still managed to raise $4 million, thanks in large part to the fertile Austin startup culture. In early January, they announced that they would begin taking reservations for the first Kangaroos. The cars will cost about $25,000, but many buyers may qualify for government green energy and mobility tax incentives. The first model will have motorcycle handlebar-style steering and will be suitable for drivers who have sufficient upper body strength to control the car. Another model is in the works that will employ a joystick, enabling many other wheelchair users to operate the kangaroo. Zorn will need the joystick model because she has limited upper body strength, so she will have to wait a little longer than most for her car. I won't have the first vehicle, or even one of the first 100, she says. One of the most rewarding parts of the venture so far, Zorn says, is the emails and calls she gets from potential customers. Zorn understands better than anyone how onerous it can be for the more than 3 million American wheelchair users to run simple errands or get around town. More often than not, they must rely on the kindness of friends and family to escort them to the store, the office, or to the coffee shop. In January, Zorn heard from a woman with multiple sclerosis who depended on her husband, Bill, to take her everywhere. When he was diagnosed with dementia and no longer able to drive, she joked to Zorn, You need to get me a kangaroo cause I'm gonna kill Bill. Potential customers from as far away as Australia and the Middle East have contacted the company, anxiously awaiting its production schedule. It's been a long journey, but Zorn is excited about what lies ahead. I am confident, she says. Failure is not an option. We've got 30 investors. We've raised $4 million in the US. Everything in every way is on the line for us, personally as founders of this company. And then I've got thousands of people out there waiting, 
so we don't give up. That was all from this video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting content.